The project I'm about to begin is a uh, is a Sterling helicopter, and what I mean by that is it's a uh, it's a helicopter, obviously, that's driven by a Sterling engine, and uh, the way this uh, will work is that there will be a, a heat source like an alcohol lamp right here, and it will heat this uh, Pyrex cylinder. And as the air expands, it will move the, uh, there's another uh, Pyrex piston inside here. And the expanding air will force this uh, back. Um, which will, you know, turn the flywheel. Which will turn this, uh, this gear train up here. Um, this gear will cause um, this to turn, which is what's driving the uh, the work piston. Um, so as as the uh, displacer piston uh, moves back from the force of the heat, the um, the work piston will force cold air back into the chamber, pushing this piston uh, back out again, and then the cycle just continues over and over again. Um, this, uh, these two pulleys here, I haven't drawn the belt in yet, but there'll be a, you know, a belt connecting these two pulleys. That will drive the, um, you know, the main rotor. And then this other gear, uh, takes us to the, um, to the rear where, um, this gear train will drive the, uh, the tail rotor. So, this is um, obviously a rather ambitious project. It's um, it's mostly made out of uh, out of brass. Um, it's going to involve uh, doing some uh, 3D machining here to um, you know generate uh, these kind of profiles, both on the main rotor and the tail rotor. Um, there's a lot of precision work that has to be done. The cylinder block has to be very precise to get the, um, you know, just the right tolerances so that you're, uh, you know, you don't have any air leaks and you're, um, you know, generating enough uh, force back and forth to make this thing continue turning. Um, you know, there's some uh, bending that has to happen here, and that's something I've never done before. Um, and all of the um, all of the moving parts, um, uh, rotating parts anyway, are all um, running on ball bearings. I haven't drawn them in here, but there are quite a few of them throughout the uh, the train um, going up and down. So um, this project should keep me busy for quite a while, and I'm going to. Um, as I build each part of this, I will, you know, create an instructional video and I will uh, post those to YouTube so you can uh, follow along with me. The uh, the plans for this helicopter come from um, uh, some gentlemen in the in, in the Netherlands. Um, the ne Netherlands uh, is a mecca for people who build uh, really wonderful Stirling engines. Um, and uh, I contacted one of them, and he was kind enough to um, to send me the plans for this. Um, and he also um, gave me permission to make those plans uh, available to uh, to you guys, anyone who wants to uh, to see them. So I will provide a link to that um, at some point. Um, <laughs> just a just a, a you should know <laughs> the plans are um, the plans are in German. It, it, in fact, the, the plans will arrive as, as a PDF that you can print out, and um, they're in German, so you'll have to do some translating. Um, and they're also in metric, which you know is great for most of the world. But here in the U.S., you know, we're still on the imperial system, so I had to do a lot of conversion. But it's no big deal. Um, anyway, um, this is the project I'm going to be building. Uh, and you're all welcome to follow along, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs>